Hey guys, today I'm excited to be doing a video. We're going to replace this old Ford mini starter style from AutoZone with this Powermaster Ultra Torque. Uh, this one, the starter kicked back and it damaged the Bendix, so I needed to get one anyway, so I got this. Uh, right now we're running the one off that car. So I'm going to do a real quick start of just the existing mini starter style so you can hear it to get an idea how, how fast it cranks over. All right, everything is completely cold, so this is the Ford Mini Starter. All right, so there's the starter that's on there. I'm not going to pain you with watching me take it off, um, but it looks like it's a direct replacement, nothing. All right, so I quickly wrestled with that. And you can see how much longer it is. I think that part's okay, but I'm going to have to take this apart and clock it in a different way. Uh, just a quick shot of what I've got. So the solenoid is hitting this header primary up here, right here. So I'm going to have to roll the solenoid back toward the block, and hopefully that will work. I managed to get it in there. Uh, Quite a series of compromises there. You can see how close the header is to the solenoid. It doesn't touch, but it's really close from there. And solenoid also pretty much touches the block. So there just was really no room to do anything other than what it did. And it does fit, but really close. All right, here we go. Gonna see how the Power Master does. Here we go. All right, so there you have it the Power Master Ultra Torque Starter versus the Ford Mini Starter. Um, pros of this new starter uh, it seems to have just a little more guts than the, the Ford Mini Starter. Uh, it is, the con is definitely, it's bigger, harder to get in there. It's closer to the headers. Uh, it remains to be seen if the heat will be a factor over time. Um, so those are kind of the downsides and it costs about twice as much. So um, the jury's out on whether this will be, I think it'll be a long-term thing to determine if this was worthwhile. But I'll tell you what, it's a testament to these little Ford mini starters. That one's still got the Motorcraft sticker on it. So uh, it's been around for a while. And that thing still works. Um, this one here, it's from AutoZone, so who knows what's in there? Who knows? So, but overall, um, pretty easy install. Uh, so, like I said, time will tell. Hopefully, this will help you make a decision if you're uh, thinking about doing this. I probably would not go with something like this unless you really have pretty high compression or some real need for it. I would stick with the Ford starter. So, hopefully, that's useful. Please like and subscribe if it was, and thanks for watching.